Okay, the next project we're doing in this class is called the color emphasis. Um, you can see that I'm just on homepage in Garland uh, graphics line. Sorry, and click on modules course, and um, you can find uh, under the color thing. I want you to make sure and watch this that puzzle that the universal effects of color and then how uh, color is used in graphics line. And then I want you to actually work on this assignment that you see here. In this, uh, this area right here, okay. So we can click on color emphasis here, and this is a kind of like this is an example of what it looked like when you're finished. Um, this is uh, what you're going to do is actually go to this link here. So you're going to click here, and you're going to download this image. So you click download, it's going to open another file. I'm not sure why it does that, but click on download. So then it actually downloads to your um, drive your uh, computer okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to and we're going to watch this video okay and this video will explain everything how to how to do everything in photoshop how to actually turn in your project and this is a tutorial so i want you to follow along exactly with what i'm doing uh to recreate this so you're learning how to do some things in photoshop and then the extension is where you do it your own this is the tutorial the extension is the next project okay so this is a uh, YouTube video. We'll be here to kind of walk you through how to do this. So, okay. So the next step is actually we've downloaded the file. Now we need to actually go click on the start menu down here. And we need to go into Adobe uh, Photoshop here. And then so you want us to have the Creative Cloud CC 2019. So you want to see that version right there. So we open up Creative Cloud. This is what it looked like. I'm just showing you what it looked like when you finished. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close that one. What I'm going to do is it, it looked like you might have to log in with your when you first open a Photoshop and it might have to like log in since um, use your school provider account and you want to choose uh, enterprise. If it asks you choose enterprise, not personal account. It's not a personal. This we're at school, so you choose a enterprise which is school or personal. I mean school or work. I'm sorry. So you click on open here. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, downloads. We just downloaded the, the uh, photo booth here. So it's called Antique Bench Photo Booth, whatever. And you want to open that. Okay. Then open this project. This is what it looks like when we start off. Um, when I think you start, it will look like this. It'll be like the really small panel options. Uh, for me, I like a little larger. Um, it's not required for you to do that, but I would recommend maybe changing the panel options here. So that way uh, you can see like a larger thumbnail of what you're looking at. So I like to see a little larger things. Okay. Um, what we're going to do first is we're going to use the selection tool on the, the last project. We actually learned how to select coins and, you know, selection things are actually in the shape. So now we're actually use free form selection thing. That's what this quick selection tool really does. Well, so when I click on that to start with, then we're going to uh, grab the, um, make the size larger here. So make it a bit larger here. And uh, we're just going to click and just, we can make this selection over this entire image there. You can see how it's selecting things a little bit more. So we're going to select all this stuff in the background. So we don't sleep, select everything but the photo booths. So we're actually selecting everything up here. It's not so it's not a perfect line right here, but we're going to clean that up. So select everything over here, select the bricks, select the, all the trees, and make sure you go over here. All this done. Here. Okay. And so if it's not selected, everything, you'll have to, you know, um, look over that again. And we'll just some things that actually just double check. So now what we need to do is zoom in because we need to make sure that selection is good. So I'm going to hold the Alt key on my mouse and zoom in. So I'm just going to scroll the mouse while I'm holding the Alt key. And my, my selection is still big, so we need to make that smaller. So I go up here and make that a little smaller here. Okay, this is about the size. Again, zoom in a little more. Oh, undo that. Zoom in a little more. Alt key and scroll the wheel on your mouse. So now it has this larger thing here. And so we want to just clean it up. So make sure that just 
It's just I'm just telling the computer it's like that's like a little bit new, too much. And now we're going to click on the mono symbol and uh, make it to where it goes to the edge there. So we're just telling the computer to recalculate the edge. So I'll click once here, and it's calculated edge. Now I can can scroll up, but it's going to take a long time. Um, so this line is not perfectly straight, but when you know. Um, Make sure it basically straight to like select that edge there. So we're going to do some things to refine that edge a little bit more. So it just as long as nothing sticks out really. Um, oh, and it choose I clicked on something. I choose Control Z and undo that selection. So now I just an add that in. I click once, go down here, click once again. So make it recalculate the edge again. I'm going to zoom in. Oh, it's a little more right here. Click all that now. Yeah. Let me get a recalculate edge there. So that looks pretty good and up here, up here, like this. Got that pretty good job there. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit right there, but, you know. Yeah, so we're just. Tell the computer to recalculate the edge. And that's where the selection goes up here in this curved part. So I'm just sliding it over. Sliding uh, this slider up to the top here. And then I'll just slide it over. Um, that looks pretty good. And okay, I've got to let. Not enough select there. Okay, so it's going to go back and recalculate the edge there. So I just want to make sure nothing really stands out. Um, and I click on the minus symbol, make sure it actually finds that the white edge there. So it's good. Now then I'll scroll over. So it's got a lot to actually click on the plus sign. So the background is what I want to grab, so I can have that plus sign right there. So then I grab that. And I'm just scrolling over a little bit more. Let's go down, over, and down. So it's got a little bit more right there. A little more right there. So I'm clicking once again. So now I just go to this edge there. Okay. So now we can go down. This edge needs to be cleaned up a little bit. So I'm just clicking once and just kind of just telling the computer that the line will jump a little bit. Um, I'm going to scroll over a little bit. Yeah. So it's in the middle of my screen. Scroll down, 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 down. I think it's going to stand out a little bit right there. The line will jump around a little bit, but um, I was just making sure it selects. Eh, I mean, semi straight line. Okay. Oh, again, we're going to refine that edge later. Okay. Scroll down, down, down. So now we're getting to the bottom here. And I'll scroll over. And go down to the bottom here. So it didn't select uh, the tree. So I'm going to actually zoom that control. Alt, I mean, hold on, Alt key. And then scroll out just a little bit more. So now I can actually make sure that's. Yeah. That, again, the line will jump. But I'm just telling the computer like recalculate the edge there. Okay. So now I'm gonna zoom over. Recalculate the leaves here. It, there's a hard time with the leaves down here at the bottom. So I hold the alt key and scroll out again a little bit more. Okay. So again, yeah. And when I let go of the mouse, it kind of recalculates and goes better. So again. Like this edge, and it did a pretty job over here, but it just didn't select the leaves over there on the other side very well. And this thing right here, okay. So now I'm going to click, I'll hold down the control and then zero, and it's going to zoom out. That's just a quick keyboard shortcut to zoom everything, okay. So now we're going to do is actually use the select and mask. We're going to refine that selection a little more. So we can click on that and make sure if you want to go to your um, view 
and turn on the black and white. See, I missed a little bit there. I missed a little bit there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually hit cancel here and make sure my left side is selected. Make sure this is uh, size up a little bit more. And I've got uh, yeah, this little section right here and this little section bit right here. Now I can go back to select the mask and make sure that it's all selected. The easiest one to do is black and white. So that looks good. There's a little bit there and a little bit there. So I can cancel it again. Okay. And I, the way I can make sure that it selects everything is just make it bigger. Make this uh, selection really big. Even bigger here. So it's really big. And it just able to basically select everything. So it's, it's so big that I'm going to go over it actually and select everything. So we're going to click select the mask. Then, yeah, the easiest way to actually make sure you have everything selected is to go black and white. That looks good. All the background should be white. The phone booth is black. And now um, we need these uh, settings. Um, so the radius is going to be 5. Uh, you can actually can move these if you're actually doing this on the extension. You can move these radius and find this out. But I've done this already, so the radius we need to be is five. Uh, the smooth is going to be fifteen, I believe. Uh, the feather is going to be one point five. I'm just typing this in on my keyboard. Contrast will be zero, and the shift edge will be zero. Okay. So we got all those um, variables and done, and we can actually now just Select the, I think when you start about the, the um, oh, I'm sorry, it's the 1.5. Yeah. Now this, when you open, when you start with uh, the selection, refine selection, if this output settings is not uh, visible. So just make the error go down. The selection, uh, you need to actually change the output to a new layer with mask. That's what we need right there. Okay. And then you would actually click OK. And what it does is it actually creates a new layer with this is called the layer mask. So everything is, the photo booth is taken out. Okay. And your original image is actually, this uh, makes it visible and invisible. Okay. Like this, turn it off. It's, it's invisible right now. I'm turn it back on. Now I can see the background. Okay. And it's got this LinkedIn uh, linked uh, mask. That's what it's called. Okay. But we want to change it. See the little um, handlebars that go around the mask? We want to actually select the background. Okay. Now we're going to actually change that. We're going to go up here to image and go to adjustments. And all the way down here it says desaturate. So basically, that takes all of the color out of the background. And then we're going to, one last thing, we'll just turn this background. So that color, photo booth, shines through in the black area. Okay. So our photo booth is in color and our, our background is uh, all black and white. So right here, we showed emphasis on the photo booth by showing that it's still in color. Okay. And that's one way we can show emphasis. So now we're going to actually go to the um, menu here, file menu, and you click save as. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save it in the downloads, okay? So I'm just going to name it Photo Booth. Okay. Um, so I want you to do, I'm going to give you a habit of doing both things. So save it as a Photoshop file. That's just a Photoshop file. You can see if I save this type as Photoshop. And click OK. Now I want you to do that again, file, save as. And now I want you, it's still Photoshop, photo booth, sorry. But the save as type, you want to go down to JPEG, down here, this right here, right below, if format, and JPEG here. Okay, and what you're gonna do is actually just re, you know, save it again, so say. And you can leave the image quality zero right now. This is a large file, so, we, you know, this uh, kind of preview of what the size is going to be. So we'll click OK here. And then the next thing we have to do is actually then go back to our uh, Chrome. Uh, sorry. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new tab here. 
So we need to get in the habit of, it's in our downloads, okay? So what we need to do is uh, get in the habit of actually going to drive. So I'm just gonna go to, oh, yeah, it'll look like this. So it'll look like that. Okay, so you put, open a new tab and we need to put those images into your drive account, okay? So we're gonna actually go to your, like this little Google Apps grid of dots here. Click on the Google Apps, go to your drive account. Now this is my drive account, but you wouldn't click on, it would be your drive account. And then, so I want you to click on new here, new folder. And I want you to call a folder called graphic design. So you're just gonna save everything that we create in this Google Drive folder, okay? So we're gonna click on create. Now that graphic design folder is there. So what I can do is actually open it up. I double click on it, open it up. It's empty right now. But I'm gonna click on new and upload a file. Go to my downloads folder, okay? And I've got these photo booths. So I'm gonna click on, click on this and open it. Then click on, it's gonna upload that. So and while it's uploading, I click on that other file. Uh, find this new file and then the JPEG one. So we uploaded the photo booth of Photoshop and the JPEG version. So you can see both of them are now in there. So that's on my graphics line, okay? So um, now we need to go back and turn it in. So we're gonna click on the canvas. And what I'm gonna do is then, um, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go back to student view. Um, you won't see that. So it will say uh, start assignment right up here, this button right here. So you're gonna click start assignment. And then what you're gonna do is upload a file. So then choose a file and then go to my downloads. And um, I want you just to upload the JPEG version. See the photo booth the JPEG that were created. Okay. So you just open that there. Okay. And it's uh, out of there. Um, also, we're going to add another file. We're going to actually upload and choose. This one we're going to choose the Photoshop too. So we need to choose both files. Okay. So that's because I need to be able to see that you've created everything in the Photoshop file and then JPEG is actually just, you know, something you can add to your um, portfolio, like you have different assignments, different uh, images you can add to your uh, portfolio. Okay. So I'll click uh, So make sure both of them are selected there. So you click submit assignment and then both of those images there get added to that. Um, assignment so make sure they are getting uploaded okay and it's a good habit to get into to make sure that those things that were uploaded are actually uploaded so click on this photo booth here it's going to download that and i can click on it real quick yes it's the one the image we wanted to actually get downloaded so there we're just actually checking that to make sure it's the correct one so um, and that should finish everything for this uh, assignment.